season three is, uh, I mean, one of the big themes is basically taking this family that we've got to know, you know, AFC Richmond and the individuals within it to sort of see how they congeal as a family and then go against, you know, external influences and some in internal ones too. We spent the start of season three exploring what's best for Sam and he continues to grow and, you know, yeah, just like work on himself. And, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of maturing for Sam, a lot of dealing of, you know, he's dealing with tr like loads of trials and tribulations this season. But um, his main focus is just working on him and, um, and maturing, you know. People love the show because it's very relatable. You know, it's, uh, it deals with issues that they probably dealt with in their life um, and they can relate to it. Why do people like Leslie? Because he's unaffected, I guess. He's, he's put upon, or he was put upon, but has been elevated. And everybody wants that, don't they? You know, you want, you want your boss to go, I'm sorry, I, I hold my hand up, I made a mistake. Let's take you on a journey, you know? And so that's what happened at the end of season one and so through season two and I think really in season three you see him getting into his stride and making decisions and being you know authoritative and giving his folksy wisdom when it's called upon in the diamond dogs and what have you. I think that Ted Lasso <clears throat> has resonated so much with people because it's really ultimately about love. It really is about love and it inspires us to kind of be a better version or the best version of ourselves, you know? Actually, I'm really, really surprised at the amount of fans. I've never heard so many people scream my name all at once. It was, it was, it was overwhelming. But honestly, this show would be nothing without the fans. The fans are the key part that makes Ted Lasso Ted Lasso. I think May takes no prisoners, and she's not going to give you an easy ride. But she has great. She's been there and done it and come back round the block a few times I think so she understands human beings I think it's nice to, for us as a species to remind each other and ourselves about happiness <laughs> and positivity and joy and all that stuff you know it's a little like it can get it can get forgotten about sometimes and i think this show is a big reminder of that so that's been lovely it's overwhelming to even when i deal with it in the, in the in the reality of it and i see all the folks like showing up here i was just like oh my gosh this is nuts uh, and them all yelling our names and, and knowing everybody's real names and the characters names and having opinions about it it's been lovely uh, but yeah I, I, I don't think I don't think anybody really writes you know a, a comedy to to instill hope in people necessarily maybe incidentally uh, but and I know I know laughter you know certainly helps you know me get through hard hard parts of my life so if we've provided that that's fantastic that's just that's just that's gravy.
Uh, so many more football soccer moments. <laughs> many more than in season one and season two. We saw how season two ended and there's going to be lots of rivalry with West Ham.